A text from Jack jogged him from the quiet moment. That hellion dosed me. I just woke up face first in the weeds. Why would Bria want Jack out of the way? The two of them are on the loose, and the shifter kid is with them. Uh, what is she planning? Kieran turned from the window as fear seized his heart. Did my father get to her? Does he know what Alexis really is? Hey, I hear you're in your father's house. What a strange coincidence. So am I. What the... Uh... Jack would have never led them into this house without me. So, I was just about to animate a cadaver. Should I still do that? Or are you going to lend a hand, or... Mm. The trophy room was on the list my mother gave Alexis. She wanted to check it out. And my father just went up there with Sarge. Sarge was retired from Valens's elite, which was something like Kieran Six. As a member of the elite, Sarge had been blessed with a sliver of Valens's power. The butler couldn't feel magic or power level, but he had a heightened sense of smell. One of the few things age hadn't stolen. And he had taken Kieran's father up to investigate a strange smell in the trophy room. Alexis, where are you? Hey, this is Mordecai. I have Alexis's phone. She's with Bria. Bria, where are you? Second floor, some sort of orgy room or something. There are pillows and sex toys everywhere. My father only uses that room when he's entertaining his revolving harem. Good. You two should be safe in there until I can distract him and get you out. Oh, I sent Alexis to the third floor. I'm paying her to protect Alexis. Why the f*** would Bria send her someplace else? Hang on. There were two creaky steps on the stairwell to the third floor. Kieran had cultivated those warnings himself. If they'd been disturbed, he would have heard it from his current location. Alexis is still trapped on the second floor. Bria, hold. Let me assess the situation. Bria and Alexis have gone too far this time. They're endangering their lives, my mother's future, my intricate plans. If my father catches them... 